Hi there, Jamie here from Piddle Press. I hope you're well. Here's a quick tutorial on how to achieve this lovely grid card tile layout that you see in front of you. This is using our new K um, Caxton layout block in, in conjunction with the new Gutenberg editor with WordPress, and I'm gonna show you how I built it. So uh, this is what I'm gonna try and replicate. So I'm gonna go back to this site here. So I'm just creating a page in Gutenberg, and I'm gonna start by selecting a block, and I'm gonna use the Caxton layout block. So you can find that in Caxton here, and then Caxton layouts. And the block I want to use is this one down here. So you just click onto that. And this is where you can see on the screen here, this is uh, where we're gonna put our um, photograph and our text. Now, the first thing we need to do is actually select this. Now, this is at the moment in this current version of Caxton, it's a little bit tricky to actually select the individual sections. You can select the whole of this layout block, um, which is simple, but selecting these is a little bit tricky. We're gonna make this much easier though. Uh, but the first thing, just to make this easier for us, what we're going to do is go to layout here and we're gonna select the gap to be wider. And what that means is it just makes it up easier for us to select these individual sections one by one, which we need to do if we wanna set the background for each one. So you see when I hover over it, hover over for each one, I get this blue line. And what we're after is to select when, when it says Caxton layouts, Caxton section, that's the bit we want to do because we're gonna put a background behind that section. So let me just select this first one in the top left and you see it's a little bit tricky, but it's not too hard. And now I've selected it, it tells me over here that I've actually, over on the right here, I've selected the Caxton section, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna check the photo I want. So that's the photo I want. And I'm just gonna to go to background, select the image, and I've already uploaded these photos, but you could also upload new ones. And you'll see that's put a background behind it. Okay, so we wanna stretch this a bit and we're gonna use the um, spacer block within um, within Gutenberg to do this. So you'll see this spacer block and that allows us just to stretch this down. And you'll see when I click off it, it actually goes, so we, we don't actually see it, but it is there. Now what I could have done before I inserted that was I could have put some text above, but I'm just gonna put some um, text underneath here which again can be a little bit tricky, but it's you will find a way to do it. And so you just put your text in there. Now, the next thing I did, I put a heading in here. Now, rather than just stick a heading in, um, let's put some text in here. Rather than just making that a heading, which you could do, um, I wanna have a bit more control over the size. So I'm gonna transform that paragraph block to a, a super text block. Uh, which we may rename to text customizer soon, but that lets you customize this text. So it just gives you more control over the text. So you can do things like change the, the font size here and obviously the font color. Um, so it just gives you more control. You can change all sorts of other stuff in there like the line spacing and the letter spacing, all sorts of cool stuff. Then I'm gonna change the text color of this block down here. So there we go. If I just flip back to what I'm trying to do, that's the first bit kind of done. So now I wanna add a photograph to this second block over here. So again, you need to select it, which is a bit tricky at the moment but you see sometimes it helps if you click into another block i found and then it's much easier just to select it like that so let me just take the photograph again so it's the orange dressed i want so i'm going to select the background background image and there we go now i don't need to put a spacer block in here because it's taking the height of that row from that first spacer block um, and i don't think i put any text no there's no text in that one right so the next one is this one down here uh, which is this girl in the red top here. So again, you can just hover over it, select that section, select background, choose your photo. Now I'm putting photos in these, but you could put, um, you could obviously put in just background colors if you wanted to. Now this does have some text in it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the text in first here. I'm gonna change the color of that text. And then I'm actually going to add my spacer block underneath it. And I'm gonna then put that above it, if you saw what I mean. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And then I'm just gonna drag that spacer block down to the kind of height I want to get to. And there we go, there's my there's my text. Right, next one is a girl in the jumper. And again, I'm gonna try and select that section here. And you see it can get a little bit tricky. Uh, select the image and there we go. And again, you could just put your text in first here and then your spacer block in second. You'll probably find the right way to do this for you. And then just drag that text down to where you want it to line up and then click on it to change the text color. Again, this is using Gutenberg. So if you want to change the background color, you can change the background color. So if you want to, if you want to make that text pop a bit more, you could do. And then the final one I need to do is this uh, girl 
looks like she's walking across a dangerous gangplank. Uh, so again, I'm going to select that section, choose the background. There we go. And again, I'm going to put my text in and then I'm going to put my spacer block. But you could put your spacer block directly above there, actually, which might be the better way to do it. Drag, drag that spacer down. Um, again, let's just change the text here. You can see this. I change the color. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, so you could carry on finessing this. I'm mostly working very quickly. Then the final thing we want to do is just select the whole layout block here, like so, and go to layout and select none. And you see how it's just got rid of those gaps. So I only put those gaps in because it made it easier to um, work within the section. So there we go. That's how you can create that really lovely grid layout uh, pretty quickly. Uh, just flick back to it. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. Thanks very much for watching.